Hi, my name is Emily Strickland, and I'm from Valencia, California. I wanted to let you guys know that I absolutely love my new Shark HD 520. I chose this one that has the largest bed so that I had more options and capabilities. Um, I want to resurface my cabinet kitchen doors, which I started that project on a CNC machine at our local makerspace uh, at a community college, and due to COVID, everything shut down. So I decided that since I'm an educator and I love to learn and I love to teach people things, that I was going to go ahead and buy a machine for myself and just try. Um, I had very little experience in the makerspace with the actual programming. Um, when I bought this machine, I attended the LCD training that was free through Next Wave. And then I also attended the VCarve Pro workshop offered through Next Wave. And with both of those trainings, I was able to get started right away. And I've made some really cool, fun things so far, and I can't wait to do more. Absolutely love my investment and am so happy with the results that I'm getting. Here are a few of my projects that I've completed with my Next Wave Shark HD 520. I wanted to create curtain rod holders that match the reclaimed wood from the mantle that I built, as well as the white paint around the fireplace. The first thing that I did is I ripped a piece of reclaimed wood using a table saw so that when secured on the table, the router cleared it as it traveled across the length of it. I cut the length of wood into equal rectangles with each one having two keyholes. That way I could start engraving and cutting out my curtain rod design. Using the program I created in VCarve Pro, I cut out the tree design, the two holes, and the curved lines on the front of each of the holders. I then flipped the piece of wood over and carved the identical thing on the back side of each holder. After I cut out all of the curtain rod holders that I needed, I painted the trees white using latex paint that matched the paint on my brick around my fireplace. I used 80 grit sandpaper, then 120 grit sandpaper to sand down the wood around the trees and to clean up the white paint. I put a short dowel rod in between my curtain rod holders that I built just to show you what it would look like. I hope you liked my first video. 
Sorry that I sounded like a robot. I've never made a video before. But I'm always learning. <laughs>